What if I told you that we now have safe, smart, aware robots that can not only move in two dimensions, but they can move in three dimensions? I'd like to take this moment to invite some more of my friends to join me on stage to show you just what I mean. Along with the drones are our friends Jan, Daniel, and Michael from Ascending Technologies. They worked with us to integrate RealSense technology into each of the Firefly drones you see here. Now, there's something very unique about these drones. They also have an Intel processor that helps these drones use the information from RealSense to see, think, and adapt. No more collisions. Guys, why don't you walk through the drones? You can see they put down their controls. The drones are adapting to them. So I'd like to try something a little bit more advanced, though. We're going to try the first ever drone ping pong game to demonstrate the drone's ability to avoid a moving object. So let's put two of the drones down. And we'll use this drone here. And we're going to play a little drone ping pong, simply moving the drone between us. You see the drone continues to try and stay in one position, but we'll keep it from going in the audience, avoiding us at all times. I can tell you we played this in a conference room one day, and it was pretty exciting. So let's drop the final drone. And I'd like to go over and talk to Jan and just hear a little bit, Jan. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about what you've done here with RealSense and your Firefly drones? Uh, sure. So we are using six RealSense cameras to create a 360 degree view, as you can see here. So we see obstacles far away are blue and close by are red, so we can move around a little. We use our Intel onboard computer to uh, extract the most relevant information um, and send it to our tri triple redundant Aztec Trinity autopilot which then uh, calculates position data and obstacle avoidance commands. This is all done with our GPS or a motion capture system. So, okay, not done with GPS, just done with motion capture. Why, why is this a big deal? It's just so much easier and safer to fly a drone with this technology. You can just focus on the goal and let the system handle the dynamic environment. It's a game changer for the whole industry. Thanks, Jan, this, this is great. We think that drones have the possibility to change our lives in many ways. You've heard about drone delivery, but there's much more. Drones can deliver medications and life-saving interventions to remote places, inspect power lines, agricultural fields, and gas lines, assist humans, basically keeping the humans out of danger. With our technology, these intelligent robots open doors that can lead to amazing wonders. These drones can avoid obstacles, and the fact is, the real world is filled with all kinds of obstacles, almost like a giant obstacle course. So we decided to build one here at CES. And we want to see if our drones can safely navigate through it. We call it our very own game of drones. We've used programming to restrict the drone to fly the shortest distance from Daniel down there at the far end to the, the nearer end to the stage here. And their job is to fly the shortest distance, and we've contained them to that space, but we've not told them how to get there. Their job now is to navigate that obstacle course the best way, the shortest way they can to safely get to the other side here, just outside. So, Daniel, let's see what happens. What you see is the drone takes off, and Daniel will put the controller up as he just simply releases it and says, go from point A to point B being here. And he puts the controller up, and the drone's off on its own control. And you'll see it moving left to right, but not only is it moving left to right, it's having to move up and down as it avoids the obstacles that we've put in its place. The drone's doing this all on its own. 
We could go in and change. If somebody wants to stand in front of that drone, they're welcome to. But we made one last obstacle to prove to you this is live. We put a set of doors at the end, preventing the drone from getting to its final home. So let's say we let the drone go home and we go ahead and open the doors. The real leap forward that the industry has been waiting for is literally give drones sight to increase not only autonomy, but safety. And that's exactly what RealSense, Intel Processing, and these Firefly drones have done. We took it a step further though. Just prior to CES, we took these drones out into the real world to see what would happen. And let's take a look.